Hello children good morning to all of you my name is vandana and i am going to teach you science subject of class 4 that is chapter 5 fairs and circuses children in previous video you have studied the importance of games and activities in our life you came to know how recreational activities refresh our body and mind in this chapter i will explain you about the importance of fairs and circuses in our life fairs have always been a part of the indian culture in early times fairs were means of trade but over the time it changed into mode of entertainment even today most of the villages have their weekly fairs these fairs are very colorful people from nearby villages come to sell their products they also buy things of daily use from these fairs in towns and cities fairs often take the shape of fetes or carnivals now i am going to explain about some famous fairs or melas held in our country first of all i would like to explain about ram leela In North India people celebrate the shahra as the victory of Lord Ram over the demon Ravan On this day Lord Ram killed the demon king Ravan As a commemoration of Ram's triumph people celebrate Ram Leela Utsav a popular cultural play Ram Leela is a 10 day Hindu folk drama held all over India especially in Uttar Pradesh Madhya Pradesh and Delhi Ram Leela ends on Vijaya Dashmi <laughs> Now Kullu Dashera Kullu is a place situated in Himachal Pradesh state of India Kullu Dashera is the renowned international mega dashera 10 days festival celebrated in the month of October in Himachal Pradesh state in northern India More than 4 to 5 lakh people visit the fair from all across the world it is celebrated in dhalpur maidan in the kullu valley it attracts a large number of tourists from india and abroad now the shahra mela in kota to mark the occasion of the sahara 
A large mela called the Dashera Mela is organized in Kota, Rajasthan. Located on the bank of Chambal River, Kota celebrates a number of festivals. However, the festival of Dashera bears a distinct appeal altogether. Kota Dashera is quite unique. More than 75 feet tall effigies of the Demon Ravan, Kumbhkaran and Meghnath are burnt on the Sahara day to symbolize the victory of good over evil. Usually, these effigies are filled with crackers. A young child dressed as Lord Ram shoots an arrow of fire at Ravan and the huge figure gets burnt. Like all festivals in Rajasthan, it provides a good opportunity to the traders to display their attractive articles to the rural and urban buyers. Small effigies of Lord Ram, Sita and Lakshman are very common works of sculpture. Now, Nagaur Fair. A Nagaur cattle fair is an annual festival which is celebrated in the historic town of Nagaur which is located between Bikaner and Jodhpur cities of Rajasthan. This fair is also called as Ramoji Cattle Fair. Every year, more than 75,000 camels, horses and bullocks are traded in this fair. This fair for trading cattle and camels is held here every year in the month of January and February. It is the second biggest fair in India. People from all over Rajasthan come to buy and sell camels and cattle. The animals are decorated with bells hanging around their necks. Now, Ganga Sagar Fair. This fair is held near the bank of the river Ganga in West Bengal. Ganga Sagar Mela is the second most popular mela after Kumbh. In January, on the occasion of Makar Sankranti, a large number of people come to take a dip in the holy water of the Ganga. Celebrated with great vigor and enthusiasm, the festival has a cultural and spiritual significance where pilgrims dip themselves in holy water of Ganga to purify their souls. This Mela is an annual gathering of pilgrims which see a number of rituals, lit lamps and chanting in and around Sagar Dweep. Now is the very interesting topic, the Goa Carnival. In Goa, a cheerful carnival is held in the month of February for a week every year. Goa Carnival is one of the few carnivals in Asia and the only carnival celebration in India. It is a unique carnival that shows off the wonderful Goan culture which is mixed in with a few hints of its Portuguese heritage. It is a time of feasting, dancing and parades. 
go and enjoy the carnival to the fullest the carnival parade is very colorful and enjoyable goa carnival was brought to india by the portuguese settlers during the time they ruled over the area some 500 years ago as the time went on the carnival evolved and became more about goan culture now diwali mela these fairs are held just before diwali in places across the country cultural programs including magic and puppet shows are organized by professional artists stalls selling indian handicrafts and other trinkets are also set up people love to buy these colorful little baubles now pushkar fair the cattle fair held at pushkar in rajasthan is well known all over india it is the world's largest camel fair it is held in october or november every year people from different parts of india and foreign countries come to enjoy in this fair trading of camels and cattle also take place here the local artisans sell craft items acrobats camel rides and races are the most enjoyable part of this fair let us see glimpses of some famous fairs of india going to explain about fun at the circus a circus is a special kind of entertainment that can be enjoyed by children and adults circuses are a group of performers that may include acrobats 
clowns, trained animals, trapeze acts, musicians, hoopers, tightrope walkers, jugglers, and other artists who perform stunts. In the past, circus shows were very popular. Young and old, men, women, and children all liked to enjoy circus show. But now, cinema has pushed the circus into the background. Children alone now like to visit a circus. In a circus, generally, there is an oval or round-shaped stage inside a large tent. The sitting arrangement is created all around the stage. Children like to see the well-trained and decorated animals performing on the stage. Elephants sometimes amuse viewers by playing with a football. Baby elephants raise their trunks in salute. The acrobats and the trapeze artists perform daring acts. People watch them jumping from one swing to another at such a great height. The fire eating and knife throwing acts are also very exciting to watch in a circus. The clowns add fun and laughter to the show. On the whole, a circus is lot of fun for children. But many great circuses in India and abroad have closed down. Today, many people are not in favor of circuses as they are said to be a form of cruelty to animals. Rising costs and protests from animal rights activists have reduced their popularity. Thank you.